I am very excited to announce that I'm teaming up with Mr. Humble. He has a Facebook group called Men in Competitive Gaming. Link to that is in the description. Go over there, find some money games, find some lab partners, have a great time, converse with some people that have the same interest as you. I'm over there. You can message me. Overall, just a great time. Really recommend you check it out. And let's get into the video. Hello and welcome back to another video on my channel. Thank you very much for clicking on this video. This is going to be part three of my trip site and ebook. I'm going to talk about two plays today. PA Connor Go and Inside Cross. Uh, before we get into it, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this video. There's a chance you'll never see a video of mine again if you're not subscribed. So if you enjoy what you're seeing and you think you're gonna enjoy my future videos, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications so you don't miss my videos. Now, let's talk about it. Let's go back to the uh, play call screen. I'm currently in the Raiders offense. This also works. <clears throat> the two plays that are break down also work out of the Patriots and the Raiders. There's some, some other uh, trip side ends uh, where this works but those are the two most popular ones i really urge you to get those two playbooks and we're gonna start by talking about pa county go and then we'll go on to inside cross pa county go is one of my audibles i'll show you the audibles that i have right here i have pa shop post inside inside zone curve flat and pa county go you never want to call <coughs> call pa county go uh, right from the get-go you always want to audible to it but for now, this is good enough. So we want to talk about man coverage first because man coverage, in my opinion, is the toughest thing to beat in Madden. And we have some place to beat man coverage with this, though. We want to put Killer on the post, Kamara on a slant, McCaffrey on an option route, or on an angle route. We want to make sure we have tight end appearance on a tight end and backfield master on a running back. Now, this will beat man coverage, both the crosser from the tight end, the crosser from the receiver, the slant from Kamara, and the angle from McCaffrey all beat man coverage. So you see, nice. One of them is going to be open. Kamara is probably going to be open most consistently. But the crosser also does a nice job of beating man. Both the, uh, the tight end and the wide receiver one. So one more time, going to run this. Going to try and see if we can get a step. Nice. Um, now, on defense, this is 99 zone, 99 man with, I think, bench press on Jalen Ramsey. And one step ahead on Jalen Ramsey. I'm not sure, but I think that's the case. So this is gonna, this is as cover, covered as it'll ever be. It still is open. That is actually now zone. Also, this is 30 yard curl flats. We'll talk about that in a second. But yeah, you see how we can beat man coverage with this. The crosser is really nice. That is probably the thing that will go to most consistently against man coverage. Sometimes the speed out from our, that Kamara is on will win. Probably not if. If he's running it because he's a running back um, but yeah that is also something that you can look so if you have someone like uh, with route technician this will also get open now why do I have Kamara right here on the field because now I can audible down to some formations that are really run heavy let's just say I want to run the ball which I don't know why I would because trip set and it's really good nice passing but I can and this will keep my opponents out of big time one for six some very run heavy formations this will just make sure that they are honest with me and i have, a, I have an easier time passing the ball frankly but let's now get into the setups the first setup is going to be easy streak the tight end put mccaffrey in an option out put kamara on a flat route really important do that before motioning thomas across motion him across put him on a slant and now we can run this pretty easily we wanna make our opponents use a choose between the crosser and the slant and then throw whichever one is open I have a 30 yard curve that's right on right here so you will see how we'll we might struggle with that a little bit but i want to show you some that is really glitchy now i can't guarantee that this works i recorded this video once before i wasn't happy with the job that i did so i'm re-recording it now this crossing route it might not always get over the top it's it will get underneath 30 yard curve that's most likely but over the top it's not a guarantee however online i've seen this work and I don't know why it's not 100% foolproof in practice mode. That is something that I am not happy with. Uh, but you can see how we can fit that in underneath the zone. Uh, throw the pass lead down. Sometimes you might be able to get it over the top. But that is really rare. rare not going to lie. I'll try this one more time. And snap the ball. And of course the other reads on this play are the slant. Or the flat shot from the uh, wide receiver. And the last read of our opponents usually gets a little bit uh, 
he vacates the zone that he's supposed to cover. He leaves the running back open. Then that is our last read that we can check down to always. And yeah, we will have a good time. Now, one thing that is also very nice is that the slant, the crosser, and the running back on this option route will beat man coverage, especially if you have a uh, backfield master on him. So this will just make it easier for him to cook. I'm going to run this one more time. I'm going to throw it to the crosser right here. Pass lead down. Possession catch. Very nice. If you have a good receiver, they're, they're not supposed to drop that. Uh, it still might happen, especially if your opponent has mid zone KO. You just have to roll with the punches. Sometimes it's going to drop it. Sometimes it's going to catch it. But yeah, for the most time, this should be open. There's really not much more to this play. There are some other plays that I enjoy, uh, which are this drag from Kamara. Deep in on Thomas. Block the running back. Streak the tight end. And now this is where we might have a better chance of getting the crosser open over top. Uh, still, this is a tight throw. One thing that I have noticed is that uh, this gets open online. It doesn't work uh, that consistently right here. Probably because um, Richard Sherman is a little bit of a better player than what you... With 99 stats, everything. is a little bit of a better play than, player than what you see online. So, forgive me if this doesn't work. You can try it online and I promise you it will. Like, I really promise you. 30 yard curl flats, that is nothing. That is nothing for this play. As you can see, that is the furthest curl flat there is. And he still gets beaten. So, the other reads on this play are the drag and the in route. The in route is just there to keep the opponent's user honest. Because, let's just say he chases the... Uh, he chases the crossing route, tries to cover it. Because we get over top of any curl flat. Then we can check it down to the in route. And we'll have a hell of a time. But, yeah. That is pretty much all for curl flat. There are some other setups that are kind of creative, I must say. Uh, maybe some like this way. Then get Kamara, motion, snap him across. And then you have a drag, an in route, and a cross. You're going to the other side. That is kind of a creative setup. I actually like it. But I don't know if that is that good. It looks creative. Maybe you can make it work. But that is not something that I run a whole hell of a lot. So now let's go back to the play call menu. And let's call inside cross. That is probably the most... Uh, under, by me at least, that is my uh, most underused play uh, in the entire game. Inside cross, there you go. I wasn't wrong in the name. Nice. And this is a cover three beater. We just have to make sure to really get the timing down. So uh, what I would recommend you to do is you put Kittle on the corner out. Thomas smart rod him, block the running back. What I recommend you do is go into practice mode and really practice the timing because you don't want to be late. Uh, he's going to stop. Um, if you're unfortunate, he's going to stop right in front of the uh, safety. And if you throw that with a bad timing, it's a pick. So really be careful with that. Get the timing down. Really throw it right now. Boom. Just before he stops. And you see how this is a cover three beater. Now, what do we do to facilitate that? There are a couple of things that we can do. We can put Kamara on a hitch. We can block the half pick. Kamara out. That, that is one thing that we can do. Or we can put Jones on a flat. Motion Kamara across. Put him on a slant. That is another thing that we can do. Or the third, third thing that I'll show you is right after I throw this pick. Um, don't mind me guys. I'm just out here throwing picks. Uh, we can put both uh, Jones and Kamara on, on a hitch. And then we can motion Kamara across. And this will then keep our user honest. He's probably going to be using one of the yellows. And this means that the other one will be open. But I just want to try to throw this. I was a little bit early on that one. But those are the three things that I recommend. Uh, just go with um, this one. Go with the my bad. Go with the motion snap across. And go with the double hitches. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I uh, just had breakfast and then motion Kamara across and have double hitches Yeah, that is it for cover, beating cover three. Let's now talk about beating cover two Specifically cover two zone and this is very nice. I can motion uh, Thomas across and Now you see how this gets open along the sideline. This is now a deep corner out. Damn uh, Richard Sherman just transitioned perfectly right there one more time gonna try this Very nice. Um, now this should work a little bit better. Because Sherman last time was able to do a speed turn, which kind of gave him a speed boost. But now you see how we can get the crowd open. That is one way of beating cover two in this. 
the other way is a little bit more easy to spot. The post draft just in general beats cover two. If we put a tight end, uh, our tight end in the corner out, we even get an opener, uh, wall wide open throw, uh, opener. I, I don't know if that's English, but you guys can let me know in the comments. This is a nice way of beating cover two down the middle, as we get, as we all know, posts are notorious for that. One more time, we can see that the cross uh, the corner attracts attention from the deep zone, and this even op opens up the throw even more. So, this is one of the plays that is very uh, much underused because you can beat cover three and cover two in, in a multitude of ways. The final thing that I'll show you is something that I uh, saw when Chaos ran this offense early in the year. You want to put Killer on an outro, you want to put McCaffrey on a deep, or you want to put him on an option route and smart route in. You want to put Jones on a flat route, just like that. You want to motion Kamara across, put him on a slant. And one of those things is going to be open. In this case, it's the out route, or if we wait a little bit longer, it's the, um, it was supposed to be the, um, the out route, but I guess not. Uh, I'm only gonna throw this at you a couple of times, because this is, oh, you can also, also motion Jones if you want. Um, this is one setup that is really difficult to stop, because it attacks the zone in a very particular way. Uh, it attacks an area of the field in a very particular way, so you have to, you have to make a lot of, uh, precise adjustments for it but you can also make uh, the wrong read pretty easily because they're pretty close together and if you're blitzed you, you might be inclined to make a quick read so there is a chance or not there's a chance this is a difficult to run play but I like it because it is also difficult to stop just make sure you go into practice mode track uh, practices online try to run it against a lot of different people see what they do see what they adjust and then can throw some counter punches this is a nice play but it is difficult to run so use it with caution now we're at the end of the video already let me put the controller away to solidify that we're done this was part number three of my trip set in ebook uh, a lot of people have asked me where are the written versions of the punch asset ebook it is in the video description there's a pay up link down there uh, even though it says pay up it's hundred percent for free just buy it for zero dollars you get it shipped to your not ship you get it sent to your email. It's a Google Docs document. Actually, no, I think it's a PDF. I, I have one of those two. This is a nice complimentary piece uh, to the bunch of set video I did, to the gum bunch offense uh, that I did for Hot Rod Master out of the Patriots offense. And just overall, this is something that will help you improve your game a lot. I'll also put up the trip set and offense written down. I've already written it down. Some of the new setups that I found out are not in this. A lot of, not a lot of people are taking this out. It takes a lot of time. I really spend my rather spend my time uh, doing videos for you guys. But I already started it. There are some nice setups in there that I'm also breaking down in the videos. So as a complimentary piece, this will be up. Or the trips that end the ebook will be written down and will be up at the pay up link. Uh, once I'm done with this ebook. For now, I'm Audi. I appreciate you taking time. Turn on notifications to not miss my videos. And till next time, goodbye guys.